Good morning, LB TV gang. How's it going today? Uh, welcome back to the channel. So, with the title of this video, we are doing an auto beam uh, fog light uh, video install basically today. It runs on Bluetooth, free of phone, you can change the color of it. It's awesome, it's gonna be a mad video. But since then, we have done, obviously, I said in the last video, we was gonna do the headlight bulbs um, and the reverse bulbs. I've done that, I will show you that later on, how they look um, in the later on the video. If I sound a bit rough at the minute, I am a bit rough. Um, I've also got my nose ring in now, so that's cool. That's all sorted. Uh, but first things first, lads, I want to say a massive shout out to AutoBeam for sending me these out today to install for this video. It's basically sponsored by them for this video today, so huge shout out to AutoBeam. Um, you can use my discount code if you want to buy any AutoBeam products. All in the description down below. Uh, yeah, all in the description down below. It's all going to be there. Um, also, I will link my page because I've got my own little like install page on their website now. I will link that there as well. Um, you can check out all my other install videos. But for now, first, guys, I've got to get a haircut and then we can crack on with today's video. So yeah, be right back. Right, so yeah, we're back. Ken sort me out with sick trim. It's all done. As per usual, Ken's done a sick job. If you are ever in Launceston and want to get your hair booked in, um, they are only bookings now, book appointments only, so it's really good. And yeah, they are so sick down there. You can go have a go in with Kenzie or Tyler. They're both really good. Um, obviously, I stick with Kenzie. Yeah, I'll leave a link in the description down below as well. If you're ever in Launceston, it's random, but if you want to book in an appointment to get your hair cut, then it's sick. So moving on to today's video. Let's obviously get these auto beam products fitted. I'm just going to head home now. I'll show the products and then we can get them fitted a good go it's gonna be sick i can't wait to just use the bluetooth off my phone uh change the colors on that it's so cool right so yeah be back in a sec guys so we've given daisy a little clean uh we'll unlock them pop the boot lid open and the kit we are working with today lads is in here so don't worry about the address you can see that address we want that's my work's address i'm not bothered and with i've took out the uh, air fresheners already there is one so if you zoom in, right there. So shout out to Beam again, bringing them out. And then in this box, if I can do it with my hands, I'm just going to open up the box and you are greeted with this. So obviously you've got your cable ties to tie down your little uh, Bluetooth Wi-Fi adapter, whatever you want to call it. Obviously it is Bluetooth because it's, um, it says it on the back right here. If I show you, there you go. So Bluetooth, uh, splitter for, for chasing the halo ring, input, output, you've got all your colours, etc, etc. Um, this is all done within an app on your phone, by the way, guys. I will tell you everything about it in a second. Um, obviously, you've got your light LEDs there yourself. And then you're probably thinking, Luke, why is there only one connector? Basically, it splits into two, so you're only going to need one connector. Um, just connect it into that one, into the, whichever one you want, on the left side or the right side, and it will still work normally like your fog lights will do but obviously these kill ties are used to um tie down this right here so no without further ado guys let's get started on installing it all right so boys bonnet open can i even do this one this is like the most fucking bonnet latches right there they know what i'm doing right now right, so bonnet open lad is a horrible horrible engine bay in here disgusting i have steam cleaning that or something basically take out that headlight Take out this headlight, the fog lights are literally located right there. It's easy peasy. I'll switch the camera around. You just need a flat head, or it might be a flat. I'm not sure if it is a flat head for yours. I'm gonna switch the camera around and then, yeah, we'll crack on taking this all apart and then we can get the fog lights installed. It should be super easy, super simple for you guys to watch, and yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. Right, so whacking out the old trusty snap on tools. I just had to go pick them up from work because I literally didn't have any of the other tools on me. So these just should undo super easily. These are a bit rusted on mine, but a bit of persuasion, they will come out. Beautiful. So that's that one, it's loosened up. And then this one down here comes out really nice. Just loosen them off for a minute, just so, because I don't really want to show you. See, I'm quite tight to crack on them, aren't they? So they're all cracked loose. Um, I'm gonna end this little bit because I don't want to see. I don't want you guys watching me undo some bolts because that's boring and you know which bolts I'm doing. So, two seconds. Okay, so the bolts are out. Uh, make sure you always take out these connectors as well. And there's there's one last little bond to take out as well. There should be a little groove for here. You literally just pry it up. Um, doing this is one-handed, especially on my left hand, which I'm not left-handed. It should just pry up like this. I would be a lot quicker, lads, but. This one handed it is like almost impossible. They should come out 
come up really easily, which that one has. And then this one, you just get underneath it as well. Again, and he pops out super easy like that. Now, taking these headlights out, they always sound like they're gonna fucking break because nine times out of 10, the clips down there do break. But hopefully today, oh, well, nothing break, but it's usually them little clips down there, they break. So, your fog light lads, right there. Now, where I'm thinking of putting the box, because obviously, we got one one lead that connects like from one all the way around so what i'm gonna have to do is i'll probably put the block like somewhere around down here because it's quite cool down here and i don't want it to get hot or wet or anything like that so i'm gonna figure out where i'm gonna put that the little um bluetooth block and then just take these out really easy just twist and then they pop out and then obviously the new ones go in exactly the same way but yeah don't worry we'll get to that in just a second so let me just wipe this bit out for a minute Okay, so I've gone with the right side because you've got all the pulleys and everything down by the side and etc, etc. Obviously, um, the timing belt got done the other night, but I couldn't record it because the guy didn't want to be on there. So that's obviously all this stuff behind there, etc. So how easy it is to take these out. If you if you can see like the fog light where my hand is right now, I'll try and get that wire noob out of my face. Um, out my hands, I mean. You just twist it like that and it comes out. So, so easy. So we get that wiring loom out. Out there now and take the old bulb out. Should be pretty simple stuff, lads. Right, hold on. Right, like, I'm gonna have to take these out. Two seconds. I'll put the camera there. Right, you might be able to see me. But these just might need a bit of persuasion because obviously they are on these little clips. I was just taking it off the wrong way. That's why I'm no good when it comes to fog light bulbs. This is not good. Hopefully, there we go. So that is the old one out, lads. And then obviously the new one, the connector, if I show you. Oh, the connector of this bit just plugs in where that one was taken out, but I'm putting it on this side over here. So let me just get the other one out and then we can sort out what's going on. Because it's a, yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a bit of a mix match. Okay, so what I've decided is I've untangled this one over here, which is the one that's gonna be going down across to the other side. Um, I want the box ideally to sit somewhere around here. I've plugged this in now, so make sure when you do plug it in, especially if you've got a dodgy looking connector like myself, um, turn the car on first and check the fog lights are actually working with the connection. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm not gonna show you what it looks like because yeah, but just make sure it works, all right? Okie doke, so literally I'll put them all in first because there's no chance I'm filming whilst doing this but I've shown you what I've done. So they literally just go in like that. I haven't, um, I've kept the, the little clip, uh, the little wiring around this bit because it doesn't need to untangle in because it's staying on that side. That one literally just clips in there like that like I have done with that one. Make sure you check it like I said. And then this one down here, when you take them out with the old bulbs, screw them, like you twist them to undo them and pull them out. Same thing, you put them in. They are a bit fiddly mind. They are very, very fiddly. Um, and it feels like you're gonna break them putting them in, but don't worry, you're not gonna. Um, but once they go in, they just twist again and then they go into place. Um, the Warren loom, what I've done, I'm gonna have to sort this out because it goes all the way across here and down into the one down here. But, that's fine, um, I'm gonna sort that out now, I'm gonna kill tie it all up, and once I've done that, I'm gonna put everything together, so I'm gonna show you what it all looks like, it's gonna be sick, so stay tuned. <clears throat> okay, so we're all done and dusted, everything's kill tied up. Um, yeah, it's all half neat anyway. The box is down there underneath that, so that's a pretty good place for it to be. All I've obviously got to do now is just snip off the ends of the uh, cable ties. Everything's tucked away nicely. Put the lights back in, set the Bluetooth up, and I've already had a look at them, they look sick, but I'm not showing you what they look like until it gets dark tonight because I really want to reveal them then because that's when their two potential comes out is in the dark. So I'm going to connect all these up now. Oh, click all these, um, cut, I mean, cut, fucking hell. Cut all these off, lads, and then, um, yeah, basically put everything back together and I'll be back with you. Right, boys and girls, there we go. All done, that's everything put back together. Let's close the bonnet lid down. Oh, beautiful. All back together as it is. So I don't know if you can even see them in there, but they are right there. They look cool. And honestly, they do look really, really cool when they're all when they're all set up and actually working as well. But you guys have to wait till later on to see that because I want to see what they look like in the dark as well. So I'm gonna ramp all this in the boot just a second. I can let you guys know how and what the app is and the Bluetooth settings and all that good stuff. So 
when you get in the car, you turn it back on. Um, you do you do your fogs like normal. Uh, put them on like normal. Um, you want to download an app called Magic LED. It's on the App Store. It's the only one called Magic LED. Um, I try and put a picture on it on the screen or something up here. Or actually, yeah, I'll link in the description down below. The one you got to download is in the, I'll put it in the description down below. Uh, link will take you straight there. But for now, guys, um, I will show you how all the Bluetooth stuff works later on. I'm gonna wait till it gets dark and then show you everything, what it looks like, even all the reverse lights, everything else I've done. So yeah, enjoy guys, I'll see you back in a bit. Right, so it's dark now. What I'm gonna do is, because I can't really show you me doing it on my phone, like changing the colors, I'm gonna explain to you how it is quickly before I turn them on and show you. So there's about 200 modes. You can actually change the color with a, like a color wheel on the app itself. You know what the app is because I've already told you, and it's in the link in the description down below. Um, there's about 200 modes you can change through which flashes through the colors the mode that's going to be coming on in a minute is mode one which is the basic one that comes with the car but you can change through all of it and it looks really cool so let's quickly go switch the fogs on and um i can show you what they all look like i was going to do my head in so there you go as you can see that is what it looks like pretty cool eh? i think it's sick all of that and then you can literally just connect with bluetooth with the box inside and it just turns on through the um through bluetooth these are the new lights obviously it's just the side lights at the minute they are white they're a lot whiter um i'll quickly turn them on inside the car just to show you what it's like this thing is going off and it's doing my head in so i'm gonna turn the car off right there you go so that's what the lights look like um lot lot whiter definitely way better than what they were before so yeah looks sick um another thing i need to show you is obviously the rear uh reverse reverse lights which i've had on as well but in a second i'll talk to you about the auto beam ones the fog lights are sick but for now yeah i'll just quickly show you what the um reverse ones look like as well Two second. There we go, our, our lads and ladies. So that is the um, that is the end of the install video for the Auto Beam LED um, color changing fog lights, whatever you want to call it. It is awesome. Huge shout out to Auto Beam again for sending me out for them. They are unreal, literally. They're awesome. Um, you might even no, you probably won't. You might you might be able to get the halos and those. I think you might be able to get halos. But anyway, if you are interested in getting these, use L19 BOU12 to get 12% off the product um, and any of the products on their store when you spend over. I think it's when you spend over like 50 quid or something like that, or 40 quid. But these are like I think I can't remember the price of these. I think they're like 49 quid. I think for these, so 100% worth it. You get use it with your phone as well. Turn up to a car meet, you can turn them on leave them on and you can play around with them whilst people look around your car it's awesome i think it's a great little extra to have in your car um and yeah so that's that guys and hopefully you like all the other like, light upgrades done as well um a lot of you are pretty asking a lot of you have been asking luke i want to see real upgrades look this is a 1.6 diesel guys until i get my other car there's no point i can't really upgrade anything like this apart from giving it a little remap which will put it to like 120 130 brakes pointless at the minute guys so anyway thanks for watching if you're a new subscriber Thank you. Um, hit that bell button as well to be notified every single time I upload if you're a new subscriber. And um, yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe now. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it about. It will be on the Auto Beams page. Um, make sure you check out all my videos on the Auto Beam page. I'll leave that in the link description down below as well. Anything you guys need, I will leave it in the description down below. It will be there to check out. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're all amazing. I love support ever everything at the minute. Check all my Instagram on that as well. My social media links, it's all there. It's um, it's all there to check out. Yeah, that's why I upload is usually on Instagram and stuff like that. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. You're all amazing. Like I said, love you all. I'll see you in the next video. We've got one big thing coming. It's something that's coming back, and you're gonna recognise it straight away. It's it's. I need it. It needs to be on this car. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always repping. Oh my God, my whole life, my words been my greatest weapon. I know.